Every useful software takes some input, applies some logic and produces some kind of output. Unfortunately, the dependency structure of most software looks like this. The key to turn this into clean architecture is to push I.O. and other details to the outer areas of the architecture and convert dependencies into unidirectional ones pointing towards the business logic only. And this is actually pretty easy to achieve. Let's explore how. This project is part of an architectural governance toolchain. It analyzes .NET projects and checks for invalid dependencies, whatever that means in the given context. As it is a command line tool, we have, of course, a program CS. All the analyzers happens in the analyzer. We will finally create a report and write it with a report writer. We have a small entity as well and some utilities. The dependency structure of this project looks like this. As we can see, it is not following the dependency rule of the clean architecture. Quite some dependencies are pointing from the business logic to the outer layers, while in fact, it should be the other way around. When analyzing the source code of the business logic for violations of the dependency rule of the clean architecture, we immediately realize that we directly interact with the file system. And if we look closer, we see that we interact with XML in the business logic directly. Let's change the way how this business logic interacts with the input data and invert the dependency. So, with this design, we have pushed all the file system operations as well as all the XML operations behind some interface. So the business logic doesn't have any dependencies to those details any longer. Nevertheless, the business logic is still deciding. It is still deciding that only c -sharp projects are supported and it is still deciding that test projects are ignored. 
As now the design how we handle the input data is corrected, what about the design handling the output data? If we check the analyzer, we see that we produce the output directly at the end of the main method. An obvious violation of the dependency rule is that we write directly to the file system again, and also that we decide about the format, JSON in this case. A not so obvious but still very relevant aspect here is that the business logic right now also decides about formatting, which is obviously also output related code and should not be part of the business logic. So let's improve this design as well. And now the business logic is also no longer deciding how to format the report and how the report is finally written. If we now compare the dependency structure of the initial design with the one of the refactored version, we see that all dependencies follow the dependency rule of the clean architecture. The dependencies always go from the outer layer, the blue ones, to the more inner layers, the green ones, and finally the business logic, the red ones. If we look at the source code structure, we see that all concerns are well separated. All aspects like handling the input data, applying the actual business logic, creating some output data can now evolve independently. Last but not least, testing of the analyzer should be now much easier. And if you want to see a more extended example on how to implement the clean architecture, then watch this video now.